Okay, question 2.6. Uh, we have xt here, this signal. xt equals t when t is between 0 and 1, but xt equals 0 if t is bigger than 1 or smaller than 0. But the question is, can we create this x1t to x5t using xt? And we can also do some operations like time shift, time scale, and time reversed. I mean, we can use the time shifted, time scale, and time reversed version of xt to build these signals. Let's see how should we do that. Okay, let's start with part A. We have xt here. We have x1t. We want to make this x1t based on xt. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is this part of the signal, This I would say uh, the left part of x1t, okay is very similar to or better say it's exactly the time shifted version of xt if i shift this x this signal to the left to the left then if i shift this signal to the left then we would have the signal here Okay, so if I want to shift xt, I should add a constant to do this signal. If I want to shift this signal to the left, then this constant should be positive. But how much should that constant be? Well, if you check here, we want this point to go here. Okay, and we want this point to go here. So that says this c should be 1. All right, so I would say... This blue part of x1t is xt plus 1. That means we shift xt to the left by one unit of time. And, okay, we have the right side. Uh, that's the, the right side of this x1t. Let me use a different color. This part, I mean. Okay. This is very similar to the left part. It's just flipped over this axis. Okay, it's been flipped over this. And if I want to flip a signal, it's enough to replace its t by minus t. Okay, so I can say this one is x of minus t plus 1, right? minus t plus 1, then I have flipped the signal over this axis. So I can say x1t, oh, let me use different color, I can say x1t equals the left part, which is x of t plus 1 plus right part which is x of minus t plus 1 okay so this is part a uh, 